Well, we're back at Rutland Water again today, but this time we're at the Linden Reserve on Manton Bay. The Ospreys have started to arrive back from Africa now, so we thought we'd pop across and have a look. Seven birds have returned at the moment. Some of the birds have been fitted with uh, special tracking devices, which has enabled the team here at Rutland to monitor their movements. We've had a few nice spring-like days, uh, but uh, it's gone pretty cold and breezy uh, again today. The Linden side of the reserve closes during the winter, and during the winter months they've been doing lots of edge laying, coppicing and general repairs. Well, we just purchased our permits from the centre, and I've just noticed at the base of the feeders there, we've got some yellow hammers, and uh, we've got a female there on the ground. The RSPB have given yellow hammers a red status, which uh, means that the bird is in really serious decline. There's the male up in the bush there, really showing well. Look at that beautiful bright yellow plumage beautiful. Okay we're going to make our way up this path uh, to the shallow water hide which is the hide we usually view the ospreys from. Uh, lots of midges around again. I just noticed some movement up in the field there. Uh, are they red leg partridges or French partridges? They can really move when they want to. I think they prefer to run rather than fly. There's, there's some more up on the ridge there. Especially in this area we're more likely to see red leg partridges as opposed to grey partridges. Can't remember the last time I saw a grey partridge. Okay this is the view out from the shallow water hide. The official Osprey observation point is actually situated in the uh, wader scrape hide which you can see there but we prefer the view from the uh, shallow water hide. There are volunteers with scopes uh, in the way to scrape hide though, giving out information and so on. Okay, let's have a quick look at what's on view. We've got coot. Way on the far side of the water there in the treetops, we've got nesting crows. Big group of uh, gadwall there. There's between 690 and 1,730 pairs breed here in the UK. And there's around about 25,000 birds altogether winter here. A couple of sleeping great crested grebes there, bobbing like tops. Livelier pair there. Uh, grey lag geese. And we've got a bird just there on the post. It's a, so it's a juvenile um, first winter black headed gull. You just see some of the mottling on the wing there. A few adults coming in there. Black headed gulls of course really common birds. As I've mentioned before there, if you look I've actually got chocolate brown heads as opposed to black. did look quite closely at this gull. I think it's just a, a common gull. But uh, did look closely. There's quite a few uh, rarer birds been seen recently. Glaucus gulls and uh, Icelandic gulls and so on. There's a mallard. Mute swans of course. Tufted duck. Widgeon of course. But uh, this is what we really came to see, uh, the Ospreys, and uh, this is the Manton Bay female, as she's called. I assume she's not ringed. Uh, she did leave the nest once while we were here and uh, gathered some nesting material. She's just flying back uh, to the nest there, like a clump of moss or grass. And uh, she spent a lot of time uh, rearranging the twigs on the nest as she uh, patiently awaits her mate 5R brackets 04 and uh, I'll leave you with the shot of her awaiting his return. 